How you doing? How you been? What's going on? What's good? How you getting in? Everybody getting a fuzz? What's going on, people? What's going on, people? It is the day of another day of another day that we call Wednesday. Anyway, the being said, what's going to be for hopefully everybody's doing everything as far as being safe on this day and stuff. You know, I uh, went to the store over this, mo the store over this morning to get some um, tissue and stuff because you know I got allergies like crazy. I wish I didn't, but I do. But anyway, so I went to the store and everything and I saw this guy that works there and stuff and I know he doesn't like me and stuff. I don't know for un unreason known, I do not know, but I kind of picked it up from him before, you know, that, that nasty stare like this. And he's the guy that works there and stuff. And of course, I walked to the door. I mean, to the um, to the store and everything. He saw me. He looked. He saw me coming. So he just walked off and stuff. He's been like really mean to me for a long time and stuff. But I try not to pay people like him no mind. So you know, it amazes me. And then it just amazes me how he is with me. And it's the look he gives me. Like he just can't stand me. I guess he knows what's up. I don't know. But at the end of the day. I just pray to God that I keep my mouth closed. <laughs> I know I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna respond to him the probably way he think. You know what I mean? Like he probably think I'm just gonna be one of those. I'm, honey, I'm a big, I'm a big bitch, honey. Ain't that many calories I have missed? At, now at the end of the day, this is it. I got on a scale and everything, and I realized that I gained like 10 pounds. Now, of course, my phone is ringing because I'm doing this. Now, for some reason. I don't know what I'm on the, on the call list or something, or the do not call list, but you know, in job, I have keep sending out jobs and stuff, so basically, since you sent out your resume, all of a sudden now my phone's like been ringing like crazy, the house phone, my cell phone, and it's not even anybody on there, it's just somebody who wants to, um, I guess, your, your gas bill, your this bill, you want to go to college, you know, and it's like a whole bunch of telemarketing schemes, you know, that's going to stuff. Anyway. So this is the thing, like I said before, I was trying to keep my composure and stuff when it comes down to him and uh, he's just like really negative and stuff. Now, I gained a lot of weight, um, I was 180, now I'm at two something, <laughs> you know, and this is the thing with me, I learned within my own skin that I try to fit in this stuff and, you know, I feel like when it comes to girls like us, I think it's really hard because a lot of times we do all the listening to other people as far as blending in, as far as being passable, presentable, whatever the case may be. And sometimes we try to be everything what they tell us and we lose ourselves. We start becoming depressed, we start becoming, you know, it's just a lot that takes on mentally and stuff. If you're the kind of person that wants to learn and stuff, but me myself, I wish I had stayed the way I was so much. Because this is out there who's like me and stop listening, do things your own way. And if nobody don't like it, then fuck them because at the end of the day, I went to a, a great, real big depression and stuff because I was trying to conform to what everybody said to you can't wear certain clothes, you, 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 you have to look a certain way, you can't gain weight, you have to be the certain way. And I was, not, I was not making up to those standards that, you know, I was being told. And then um, I always was friends with women before this, now I got women trying to get at me and it's funny because when I was the other way, they didn't want me but this way, they want me. And, it's just so many things that start just that make sense to me and I look at women as um, a goddess and now I don't know more because I found another side of them and you know with men and stuff I, I thought I was dating gay men, I found dating straight men and the straight men will tell me well the reason why they're gay is because they're gay that's why they have no problem being gay. Well bitch you're doing everything they're doing but at the end of the day when that dick is in your fucking mouth what parts of um, gay you don't understand what some people say well just because you're sucking a penis doesn't make them gay that's where you're at go for it. You probably got a man, you got to tell him that because that's how you got him there. I get it. I understand the game, how it works. And in case y'all know what the game means, the game means you convince him that everything he's doing is okay. Do I, do I look like a woman? Do I, every, look at me. And so she's convincing him and he's like, no, you know like So then she ends up being with him and stuff because she convinced him that he's basically straight and then he does everything that's gay as fuck and I tell him the He got her dick in her he, he got her dick in his mouth. He's going, is this gay? She's like, no, not yet. <laughs> it's not funny. 
But it's funny because it's like you, you, and me myself, like a lot of people say, well, Ray, why can't you wear hats? You go, out. because when I wear hats, people look under my hats. People just like, they just gotta know. Oh, oh, I just gotta know, I gotta know. It's that, it's that, it's that. And the thing about it is, you running up to somebody just about me. <laughs> just, you know, and I got shoes I can't even wear. You know, that I don't wear when I go out. I got a lot of clothes I don't wear when I go out only because I stay ready. And the thing about it is, you know, when you, you're comfortable in your own skin, you're fine. But it's like what everybody tries to do. Me, myself, it's just been a really big struggle for me. And the fun, one thing as far as being my truth and stuff and the clothes I would wear and stuff. You know, I like big clothes and bunky clothes. You can't wear that because it makes you look like a big man. And I like oversized clothes. I don't like clothes to fit. It's just so many rules that I just, I threw them out. Obviously, I threw them out because... I had to stand in my truth and stuff, and the one thing I decided that I was going to do within myself was I didn't want to fight anymore. Like, I was not fist fighting. I was like, say what you want, I'm just going to walk off, you know, be, you know. Say what you want. Say what you want, I don't care. But then at the end of the day, I was like, well, bitch, you say that, but then you don't swung, and it is what it is. And, you know, you kind of do therapy and stuff, and you find a lot of things are not exactly, you know, what it seems to be and stuff. And then, it just makes you feel alone. All bullshit is it makes you feel really alone and isolated and stuff because you got men that come into your life and doing things to you that's very gay, but at the end of the day you tell him that it's not gay or bi, whatever the case may be. And he don't want to be seen with you and at the end of the day he's just a part of you, but he don't want to see you that way as being a part of you so he kind of stay away from you and stuff. You got females that want to be with you and she wants you to be conforming to what she wants to be and it just becomes very numb. That means you just go, you know what, I'm pushing everybody away. I'm going to start eating. I'm going to look like shit. I'm going to have my hands ready so I can do some some quick maneuver when it comes to beating a bitch up. And a, and, and, a, and a wish for them to try to fucking win the fight. But you know, I don't want to be that kind of person. But I know, listen, just because I transition, I mean, a motherfucking thing as far as my attitude. Because fist fighting, and you girls know, we can really, listen, you my sister, y'all know, we can really do some motherfucking work on these bitches. They won't be ready. They will not be ready for all the shit that they have taken us through, all the murders and the putting us down and making fun of us. Baby, they will not be ready. They will not be ready for the ass whooping that we could give them. They won't be ready. They won't be ready. We take everything off and turn out, look like a motherfucking nigga. And at the end of the day, they don't realize that it's us. We done pushed these motherfuckers back and got on sweatshirts. And we're coming out there on the bitches. Never will pass them on the street. Be like, what happened to you? <laughs> Bitch, they won't be ready. They won't be ready, honey. They will not be ready. But then again, that's just me. You know, that it also makes me question things when I see guys that get murdered and stuff. And that's the question. I was like, and I understand somebody being murdered is good because that's a bad thing anyway. But the thing about it is it always makes me wonder when some guy was murdered, was he messing with a girl like me or was he messing with a gay guy and somebody killed them? Because at the end of the day, it comes a certain point of a time when you keep fucking with somebody, after a while they're going to get tired of it. People are going to get tired of y'all fucking with them, and people are going to start turning shit out, and then everybody's like, well, what's wrong with them? They're crazy, they're crazy. But at the end of the damn day, you're the one who put the fucking gasoline inside that car, so now it's running. Don't act like you don't know what the fuck is going on. I hate passive aggressive people that sit back and do shit to you, but they actually they don't understand what happened. A lot of us are being thrown out on the street, a lot of people don't give a fuck, and at the end of the day, we're just supposed to take it. It just drives me crazy with this stuff. I just question everybody now. I question everybody. I question everything. I don't conform anymore. I don't give a fuck. You know, it is what it is. And at the end of the day, I used to try to, you know, you try to, try to blend in like you find a way to make you look more cut, more real. I'm like, fuck it. I don't even give a fuck. Because after the damn day, it is what it is. You walking around trying to be cut, wearing turtlenecks to try to hide that extra, you know what I mean? So nobody's spooking at the end of the day. Everybody know what you want, but you think it, nobody know. It is what it is. It becomes the part of freeing, being free, not giving a fuck, getting fat, getting nasty and, and 10 pounds. And then the funniest thing about being who I am, here come a little ass man that want to be with me. So I was a little bitty short ones. Not the tall ones, I was a little bitty short ones and stuff. It's like I said, and he'll fight, you know, he'll he'll go against the grain of somebody trying to fuck with you. He'll walk with you, but the tall ones is running the high. It's just a lot of things that just to make sense and stuff, but it just amazes me that once you once you decide that you don't give a fuck, baby, it is so freeing. Once you just once you decide you do not give a fuck, it is so freeing. Baby, you don't give a fuck. 
You stay ready so you don't have to get ready. And at the end of the day, they won't be ready. They will not be ready. Because they get lost in the Ubalaj stuff and they don't realize it. They keep saying, oh, but you are me and you man. So at the end of the day, if you keep saying it, what may happen if you look at the same way you look at that other guy. But I get out. Um, I'm not trying to say, like, you know, we're trying to start trouble. Because a lot of us are now. We're just trying to go from point A to point B and stuff like that. But due to the fact that sometimes some of us just feel so fucking fabulous. We just can't stop getting attention and stuff like that. But the thing that gets me also with me is that, you know, a lot of times guys run up to me and they want to talk to me and stuff. When I went to New York, um, I think it was last Friday and stuff, this guy stood in front of me. He just, he just wanted me to say something to him, and I won't. Like, I just actually did say something to him. When I first got to the bus stop, he was like, how you doing? How you doing? But I told you, I don't speak back and stuff. He was like, hello. I was like this. Hello. He was like, Hello. I guess he's like, you hear me, bitch. <laughs> yeah, I hear you, but I'm not speaking back. Because at the end of the day, I don't know if you know or you don't know or you're curious. I don't really give a fuck. And at the end of the day, I don't want to hear it no more. Like, I'm over it. You know, it just gets really old because at the end of the day, you know, when you when I decide to speak back or something like that, and then all of a sudden now, oh, we become cool and stuff like that. Then somebody see me and you together, and then all of a sudden they say something to you, and then you run off like a little pussy hole. I ain't, listen, I ain't got no tampons for you fucking pussies. If that's what you are, you fucking men, at the end of the day, you so goddamn scared of what somebody says, how you gonna say, you know, go ahead and do it. Buy your box of cold Texas, sit in the corner and shove it, you motherfucking pussy, because that is the goddamn thing. I'm not babysitting you. Take your period ass or somewhere else and sit and hide like the rest of the punks. I have no problem with that. But at the end of the day, I'm not gonna be friends with you, cool with you, and you walk out the door and somebody say something to you. You know, about being with me and stuff, and all of a sudden now you say, ooh, I can't believe this, you know. Anyway, it is what it is, but I'm not performing anymore. I'm just over it and stuff. I'm going to get fat. I'm going to get fat and nasty. I know I'm a little big. My stomach got bigger. And it is what it is and stuff. And, and a bit a big bitch got to stop trying to squeeze the little dollar outfit. <laughs> but at the end of the day, yes, I'm one of the bitches. Like, girl, I don't fit. I'm like, bitch, I'm getting this motherfucker. And I'm pulling it up. I'm like, uh-uh, I'm getting this motherfucker in. And the thing about it is, you know, it is what it is. Anyway, I just want to share this with you as far as gaining weight, as far as don't listen to what nobody's saying the more you um, transition because at the end of the day, it makes you depressed. It made me depressed. I was so fucking depressed. I didn't know what to do. I felt like no matter what I did was, it was judging. Like, always feel like this. If a person worked with you long enough, you will start hearing a voice in the house with them out being there. And you start judging yourself. You start getting real paranoid and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, it's very free not to give a fuck. It is very free and not to give a fuck. It is very free and not to give a fuck. And do you hear what I'm saying? It is very free not to give a fuck. When you want to go out to look like pure shit, go do it. I'm over it. I'm over it. And somebody said, well, bitch, I thought you been over it. No, but I, it's, I, listen, I'm human, I'm, I'm a Gemini, so you know, flip, flip, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes you don't mind, sometimes you don't want to hear it, that's the day, it's like the guy at the store, I, I want to act a certain way, I have to remember, be kind, be, you know, listen, sir, you know, now, but I don't want to do that, <laughs> I don't want to go, you know, and, uh, but you have to act like a lady, you know, you don't do that, you like, listen, sir, you're not supposed to do that, sure, I ain't got time for that. You know, grab that bitch by that shirt, but boom! Anyway, that been sad. That's not cut. But then again, like I said before, um, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Yes. 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 Work it, bitch. Yes. Yes. Follow me. I'm And like I said before, I want you to subscribe to my channel. Shut up. I want you to subscribe to my channel. And, um,. Try to get my family to grow and stuff like that. That's what it is. Listen, if you want to grow, grow and drink it, grow if you don't, you don't. But that's the day you go ahead and hit the little Instagram button at the top. You can come on in, Charlo, to see a whole bunch of shit behind the scenes. Anyway, that being said, ooh, you know what? This is how I knew I was getting away because this, this, this door knockers got big, honey. These monkey nuts. Anyway, I just want to share this with you and I'm going to try and love you. And thank you for watching. Catch the rain.
All right now, you subscribe to my channel. Come on, friend, let's go Instagram like I said before. Subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to build my family like I said before. Be looking for your Instagram. That's Rave underscore over. That's Rave underscore over. This way you get a chance to see a lot more things I don't put on YouTube through copyright reasons. And of course, I want you to see my little reality that's going on. Now, if you want to talk to me and stuff in private and stuff, Raven over at yahoo.com. That's Raven over at yahoo.com. You want to send me an email, you want to talk to me. But I'll be looking for your Instagram. That's Raven over at Instagram. Instagram, and you always can DM me there and I'll be looking for you boo boo you know what I'm looking for you do you my subscribe button anyway I'll be looking for Instagram love you